for over two years, this, let me see if I can get the whole thing in frame here, this has been the bag that has held the mystery CD grab bags that I've been doing for bargain bags. But now the last two bags are coming out of the big bag here. Yes, there's just nothing else in here at all. And it's totally empty. Hey, wait a minute. Who turned out the lights? Greetings, one and all, and welcome back to Tom's Hit Parade. By the way, I invite you to hit that like button, give me a thumbs up if you like what you see, share this video with your friends, and leave me your thoughts down in the comment section. I'd really appreciate it. So yes, uh, the clock is ticking on Bargain Bag. Um, this actually, last month, I forgot to mention, last month was the last normal month of Bargain Bag, where I broke down one bag's worth of CDs and opened one bag in the same video. But uh, from here on out, it's getting weird. Uh, yes, just two videos left in the normal run of Bargain Bag. Uh, in instead of opening just one bag, I will be opening the final two bags of uh, Mystery Sea Grab Bags. Yes, Bargain Bag, as you know, is my monthly hunt for, or has been, and will soon no longer be, my monthly hunt for buried audio treasures in the form of Mystery CD Grab Bags, eight discs per bag, uh, from the Bargain Wall at Epic Seconds, a store in downtown Eugene that is very much worth shopping at if you're in town. Uh, but anyway, um, yes, what was I saying? I, I interrupted myself. Don't you hate it when you interrupt yourself and you don't know where you were? But anyway, um, I will be opening the final two bags. Oh yes, that's where I was. Uh, the reason I'm opening two bags this month, but not opening any in December, was is because if I opened a bag in December, that would leave a bag breakdown dang dangling in the month of January. And I wanted to wrap things up nice and neatly in the calendar year of 2023. So that's why we're having a kind of a slightly weird, but nevertheless, uh, hopefully exciting grand finale of Bargain Bag. Uh, so yes, uh, before I open the two new bags, I break down what was in the previous month's bag, and I will be going ahead and doing that uh, right now. Um, stay tuned at the end of this video for a little explanation of how the Bargain Bag is going to be wrapping up this year. I'll talk about that before I sign off. But yes, in rough order from Castoffs to Keepers, here's what was in last month's bag. We have Vanilla Trainwreck with their album Mordecai. This was basically uh, grunge or post-grunge. Eh, it's never been one of my favorite musical genres. Just kind of, it's okay. And uh, yes, I've been a little bit choosy uh, or, or a little more finicky or more picky, I guess you'd say, about the music that I like. Just because I guess that's a sign that uh, I've kind of gotten burnt out on Bargain Bag. And it's probably a good thing that it's ending or at least getting a rest for a while. Uh, it's just, I found less and less worth keeping, is basically what I was getting around to with that with that long drawn out sentence. Anyway, uh, Billy Dean, uh, he's a country artist. Uh, this, uh, this is the album Men Will Be Boys. Uh, fun, clever title, uh, but yes, country, and this is, uh, yeah, mid-90s country. Country in the 90s was uh, probably the, <clears throat> excuse me, the decade that I am have found the least to enjoy out of country. He's a perfect, perfectly okay artist, uh, decent, decent singer, decent guitar player, and all that stuff. Just, I just didn't find the songs worth keeping. They're kind of, I'm sure they weren't at the time, but the songs kind of are fairly stereotypical. You know, all I need's a truck and a good time. Okay, it's not fair for me to stereotype country music that way. I apologize. Uh, just you know. And actually, I don't know that he even mentions trucks at all in this album, but uh, yeah. you know what I'm getting at. And I hope you didn't just hear my stomach growl. It's getting close to lunchtime, so I'm getting really hungry. Anyway, uh, but uh, yeah, anyway. But my apologies for disparaging country music. I didn't mean to. Life's too short to be a music snob. Uh, next CD, before this video gets any longer, Nancy Griffith with her album Flyer. And she is uh, another artist who has operated primarily in the country genre. Uh, I have gotten more fond of, for those of you who've been watching me regularly, I've said this before, uh, in, the, in the past year or so, I've gotten more fond of female artists. Whereas in the past, before then, 
I was much more fond of male artists, and uh, yeah, just I guess my just my tastes kind of changing overall. Uh, this is an okay album. Still, I'm uh, not enough for me to really keep it. Thought it was okay, and uh, yes, yeah, there's only three or four keepers in this. Uh, well, if it's four, then that's half the bag, so it's not bad. Then we have a, a, an artist called Bedouin Sound Clash. This is basically um, reggae music, uh, primarily reggae, uh, dips a little bit into ska also. Um, I like reggae well enough. It's just, it's one of those genres that I have to be in the mood to listen to. So I'm probably not going to keep this because I am not often in the mood to listen to reggae. So, but a decent album, decent artist. Then we've got a little bit of jazz here. Joe Sample. I might, I'm probably going to keep this one at least for a while. Uh, he's a, a jazz guitarist. Uh, so I can't remember what uh, instrument he was uh, he plays, but yes, uh, Ashes to Ashes. This is the name. That's the name of the album. But yes, uh, good uh, jazz music here. Very good. What does he play? I'm getting no. I won't bother looking for it. Slow the video down. But uh, yeah, just suffice to say, Joe Sample is a very good jazz artist. I have to say. And then we have one that uh, a few of you might have heard of, John Mellencamp. Uh, this is his album, uh, Mr. Happy Go Lucky. Good stuff here. I've uh, become fond of John Mellencamp over the last couple of years. I've got four or five of his albums. His album this year was pretty good, I have to say. And yeah, yeah, this, uh, this is a good album. Uh, Key West Intermezzo is the uh, one of the singles on this album. Uh, pretty good. So, yeah. I will be adding this to my uh, Melon Camp discography. And uh, now, this clip is me not realizing who the front person of the group The Story is. And this, this one is... Ah. The Story, I guess, is the name of the band. The Angel in the House, I guess, is the name of the album. I am not familiar. I think I've heard of The Story before, but I couldn't tell you. Yes, it is an artist that I've become very, very fond of. <clears throat> Her name is Jonathan Brooke, and uh, yeah, Jonathan Brooke, um, and I've got several, three or four of her solo albums, and I actually used to have an album by Jonathan Brooke and the Story, so I should have put two and two together when I first unbagged the CD last month that this is Jonathan Brooke's band. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> if I'd only known that the CD was going to be unbagged, I would not have gotten rid of the two two or three Jonathan Brooke albums that I recently donated to the um, St. Vinny's store. So I just might have to buy those albums back. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, sometimes when you um, pass a certain point of the number of CDs that you have by an artist, at least this is the case with me, you kind of say, okay, in for a penny, in for a pound, just go all the way and become a full-blown full -blown collector of their discography. So uh, that's kind of, I was kind of on the bubble of that, and since this one came into my hands, I'm thinking of, you know, going on back into uh, picking up all the albums that I don't yet have of hers. So, very talented artist, by the way. So, so check out Jonathan Brooke and The Story, if you have not yet. Very good uh, folk rock, basically, is what she is. So, yeah, and she's very good at it. And then the uh, this will be the winner, winner, chicken dinner of this month's uh, CDs, and it's something that I had seen for years and I just never picked up. Uh, the Prince's Trust 10th Anniversary Birthday Party album. This is an album of live performances from the the uh, aforementioned, the, the titular party of the uh, char charitable or organization in the UK, the Prince's Trust. And yes, lots of great performances by excellent artists. Dire Straits perform a live version of Money for Nothing. Suzanne Vega sings Marlene on the Wall. Phil Collins does In the Air Tonight. Uh, big Country sings a song other than In a Big Country. <laughs> they sing the song Fields of Fire, or they, they performed the song Fields of Fire. Yes, Big Country did a lot more than just the song In a Big Country. Here in the States, they're basically a one-hit wonder for that song, but uh, in their native UK and elsewhere, they have uh, a reputation for a Pretty long discography. I could I could do a video on Big Country all on its own, but anyway. Uh, Howard Jones, Elton John, Joan Armatrading, Tina Turner, Rod Stewart, Paul McCartney. It is a star-studded album of very good live performances. I've heard better live recordings, but I've heard far worse live recordings as well. Of course, this was back in the mid-80s when live recording was probably not at its best. 
Uh, oh, 1987. So, yeah. Uh, technological innovations in live recording have become uh, more of a thing lately. I heard a weird noise behind me. Live recording was just a minute ago, and I don't know what it was. Hopefully the building is not about to collapse. I don't know. Anyway, building. It's a house. Whatever. Anyway, I can be paranoid like that. Anyway, let me get a drink first, actually. <clears throat> Let's open up the first of the two final mystery CD grab bags in Bargain Bag. And obviously we will find somewhere in one of these bags play by Moby because uh, it's one of the few... I bought all the CDs myself and bagged them all myself because they were a quarter apiece. Um, but obviously I do not have an eidetic memory, so I remember almost nothing of what was in these bags. But I do remember that there is play by Moby is somewhere in here. And I cut the wrong side of the tape. There we go. Cut the right side in order to get the bag to unravel like that. And let's go ahead and chop the top off of there. So, the first of 16 CDs I'll need to listen to over the next month or so. We have oh, Oleander. Uh, this is, I believe, a rock band... Um, Alternative Rock, with their album Unwind. I think I've heard an Oleander album before and thought it was okay. I'll probably just think this is okay, to be honest. Kind of uh, not a lot of alt-rock bands really float my boat. Maybe. Next we have... Oh, Babyface, uh, For the Cool in You. That's the name of the album. Uh, this is his 1993 album. So, uh, yeah. Uh, one of my favorite discoveries of recent years was a Babyface album that uh, I think it was a covers album that I really, really enjoyed. I think it might have been my number one pick for that year of Bargain Bag Discoveries. I think it was last year, actually. So, uh, always up for listening to another Babyface album. Then we have... Oh, Petty Griffin. A Thousand Kisses. Uh, I have heard... At least I think I've heard a couple of Patty Griffin albums. No, wasn't that... Oh, no, that's Nancy Griffith that was in the last month's bag. So maybe I haven't heard Patty Griffin. Uh, anyway. And uh, I have fun listening to that. That is one thing I'm going to miss about Bargain Bag is all the different weird random CDs. Uh, I never know what I'm going to really, really enjoy each month. Then we have... Oh, So by Peter Gabriel. Don't I already have this? Oh, I think maybe I have it on vinyl. So, uh, okay. As every, everybody knows this album, and I probably I don't even need to listen to it. It's so I remember it so good. Yes, this has his hits, uh, Sledgehammer, and Big Time on it. So yeah. then we have. Oh, I have no idea what this is. V U E, I guess, is the name of the band. Find Your Home is the name of the album. So yes, V-U-E, Find Your Home. I have no idea who these guys are. And it looks like there might be a, a woman in the mix as well. So I don't have much to say about that because I don't know what it is. Next one up here is The Dolphin Brothers, Catch the Fall. Another one that I have no idea who they are or what kind of music they do. So... Uh, this could be one of the more interesting, uh, yeah, Bargain Bag might be going out on a high note. Um, might find some really interesting stuff in here. Then we have, ooh, John Tesh. Now we're rocking. Uh, okay, um, I actually do like some John Tesh. Uh, not a whole lot of it, but I do have a few albums. And this is uh, live at Red Rocks with the Colorado Symphony Orchestra. So this, uh, I kind of have a feeling I'm going to like this one. So. Mm. And then the final CD in the first bag, sorry, is uh, Lori Morgan, the essential Lori Morgan. Uh, she is a country artist, I believe. So, there we go. So, yeah, that'll be interesting. And uh, 
those of you who used to watch my bargain bag videos uh, a couple of years ago, I used to open two bags. They had seven CDs in each bag rather than eight. And in between them, I would review a CD that uh, you would probably be apt to find in a bargain section or stuff or something. Uh, I don't do that anymore. I, if I realized I was opening two bags, I might have thought to include that as a nostalgia sort of thing, but I didn't. So, and I don't have don't have one in mind. So, and I opened it again on the wrong side. Another sign that maybe it's a good thing bargain bag is coming to a rest for a while. I have trouble opening the bag. Anyway. Opening the bag here. Clippy, clippy, clippy. Clippy, clippy. All right. Got a lot of stuff to clean up here. Yeah. Okay. Orient the bag so that I can easily present the front covers of the CDs to you. We have... Oh, the Brad Melhow Trio with their album Anything Goes. I think this is jazz. I'm not sure, but it's, I remember I saw this um, in the bargain section. Oh, actually, this is from the $1 section at House of Records. I, I ran a few CDs short and uh, got stuff out of the dollar section at House of Records to uh, augment. That's why you don't see the uh, price sticker on the end like that. This one. Okay. Next one we have is, oh, uh, Robin Thicke, A Beautiful World. Uh, never really got much into Robin Thicke. Oh, of course, I don't think I really gave him a chance either. So this will be my first honest try at Robin Thicke. I've got dust and schmutz on my shirt. Next one we have is, ah, uh, Robbie Neville, A Place Like This. I'm sure I've heard of Robbie Neville before. And for all I know, this might have his one big hit single in it, but I don't know. So, and this next one is a green tinted uh, jewel case. You can sort of see it from in camera. So this is a something from the Ryko disc label, probably. This is Brazilians, the music of rhythm. And yes, it is a Ryko disc CD. This, I guess, is a compilation. Yes, a compilation of Brazilian artists. So, I don't mind listening to Brazilian and bossa nova type music. So, next one we have is, oh, Bruce Springsteen, The Ghost of Tom Joad. Do I already have this one? I might have bought this one since I picked up the bargain bag CDs and uh, not realized it. So I will see if I have this one. I'm trying to see my... Springsteen albums from here, and I, oh yes, it looks like I do already have it. So well, I've got another copy of it that will probably be going into the Saint Vinny's pile. The next one we have is oh, Michael McDermott, his self-titled album. I was curious about this. It looked it looked interesting on the uh, stack is getting tall, so I don't want it to fall over. So anyway. Don't know what to expect with Michael McDermott, as with several of these CDs. So I don't know what to say. Ah, here we are. Moby Play. This was, uh, I, I guess I thought I realized... I'm trying to say two, two sentences at once. Don't you hate when that happens? I thought I'd gotten it at Epic Seconds, but I obviously got it at House of Records. So, yep, I liked his album 18, so I was curious to see Moby's play. And then the final CD unbagging of Bargain Bag at least for the foreseeable future, is... Oh, Leo Kotke. He is a folk-slash-jazz artist. Uh, this is his album, Great Big Boy. So, yeah. Running Up the Stairs is uh, the first track on here. And it is on the Private Music label, a label that I was rather fond of in my uh, New Age phase of listening back in the Late 80s, early, late 80s, early 90s. So, how's about that for a an array of uh, CDs to listen to? Well, a couple of them I don't have to listen to because I already own. But uh, yeah, the last month of Bargain Bag is going to be chock full of interesting tunes, I have to say. 
So, uh, yes, as for uh, what you're going to see in the next month or so, pardon my hand, um, <clears throat> next month on Bargain Bag, I obviously, obviously won't be opening a new CD, a new bag of CDs, so it will be a double-length uh, breakdown of this bunch here. And I will be topping it off with my list of my, and I'm not sure how many, 10, 15, 20, I don't know, uh, favorite bargain bag discoveries of 2023. So, uh, and that's another reason why I wanted to do this bargain bag video at the beginning of November, so I can give myself plenty of time to listen to 16 CDs, so I can uh, let them sink into my uh, consciousness and uh, form formulate a, uh, do any re-listening of older CDs I need to do uh, to get a nice uh, list of uh, my favorite dis discoveries of the year. And then uh, in early 2024, it might be January, it might not be until February, I'm going to do a special final goodbye, farewell, yada yada to Bargain Bag by um, doing my counting down my Bargain Bag Hall of Fame, as I'm going to call it, which will be my probably 25, possibly more, uh, favorite Bargain Bag CDs of discoveries of the entire five years of Bargain Bag. So that's going to be lots of fun. I'm really looking forward to doing that list. But yes, as I said, that won't be until the beginning of 2024. And yes, I'm going to be replacing Bargain Bag with Playlist. I used to do my playlist videos. It was something I did every month where I just talked about the stuff that I had listened to over the previous month. And yes, I've got a big backlog of CD listening, a big backlog of vinyl listening. Yes, these shelves and the row, the row above it are all uh, records that I have bought but have not listened to yet. So yes, I'm way behind on my CD and vinyl listening. And I've got um, several dozen, maybe a few dozen at least, uh, cassettes that I have not listened to yet and I've I've had in my possession for months, if not years. So yes, that's my hope is with Playlist coming back every month. I don't, it might be more than once a month. I don't know. Uh, I plan on listening to a, a chunk of my backlog every month. Um, hopefully 10 albums from each format I plan on listening because I want to try and chop down the uh, backlog very... Uh, make real good progress on it uh, from each of the three formats so I don't have quite as much uh, unlistened to stuff uh, to deal with. So uh, there you go. Anyway, put those CDs now, CDs down. And as I continue my ramblings here, excuse me. Oh, come on, don't be picky. Anyway, so yes, that's it for the Bargain Bag for the month of November 2023, the penul penultimate episode. Look it up. Uh, but yes, that'll do it for this video. Be sure to like it if you liked it. And before you go, drop me some feedback in the comment section. I'd love to know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon to catch my new videos, and click my username to browse my old videos. Links to my socials and my favorite fellow YouTubers are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And remember, life's too short to be a music snob.